the holy month of Ramadan, one meal amongst others that you can take that will be of great benefit to you is kunun samia. And this kunun samia, we shall be making with plain beans and fish sauce on today's episode of Maggi Diaries, a show where everyone is welcome to iftar. I am Ohunene Etudaye, your host for tonight and your chef. And today, like every other day, is for another nutritious, delicious, yet affordable food recipe. When you think of Maggi Diaries, and when you think of iftar, we have so many variety of easy meals on this show. And joining me today on the show is Halima. And together, we will both be making this beneficial, affordable meal for iftar. Assalamu time. alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome to Maggi Diaries. Thank you. All right. We need to go on a quick break. And when we come back, we shall be introducing our recipe for the meal for iftar. Don't go anywhere. Dana, <laughs> Welcome back to Maggi Diaries. So to make our plain beans with fish sauce and konun samia, here are our ingredients. We have the beans already picked carefully. We have the kunu, which is made with corn. We have ground crayfish here. We have smoked fish already washed and deboned. Here we have curry leaf, spring onions neatly chopped. We have fresh yellow pepper, it's called in suka pepper as well. And we have chopped garlic and ginger, very fresh. We have our diced tomatoes. We have onions, diced tatase. We have scent leaf. And then we have the samia itself, tamarind already soaked, is infusing in warm water. And of course, our seasoning for tonight, one of them is Maggi crayfish tablets. Also, I am going to be using a very little of signature jollof. You know why as we cook. So now that you know all our ingredients, we are familiar, right? Yes. Let's get cooking. There, so we have put some clean water in a very clean pot to start boiling before we cook our beans. But then, like I said, we need to wash these beans with warm water and a pinch of salt. Reason is just to take out some impurities that we don't need from storage to marketplace dust and the rest of them. So please, can you get me that kettle? We have some warm water in there. Can you see the way the water is? Mm -hmm. So it tells you that, yes, we have assurance that the impurities in these beans Our is house. all gone. That's the magic that salt does. The water is boiling, so we put in our beans. And immediately we do this, we're going to start with the sauce immediately, you know. When you're making iftar for your family, you also have to consider time. So we're adding, you know, a good amount of onions. Onions is very good in cooking your meals, especially soft, um, hard legumes like beans. It helps it cook faster. So I'm just going to cover that and allow it to cook. And while that is happening, we'll get right into making our fish sauce. I normally use this spoon because it gives me the kind of measurements I need. You've been needing some racks. So, to put some onions. I like onions a lot. I don't know about you, do you? Yeah, it is. Okay. It is very healthy. Yes. I love onions. I love a lot of onions in my cooking. We're also going to add some spring onions in it. I actually don't mind all of this. What I about love... people who doesn't like garlic and ginger? Well, they, some can, people don't, they can do without it, yes. Some people don't like it. They say yeah, the, it has it a, it's, too, it's too strong for yeah. them. They use them hard bone and uh, whatever. And some um, ulcer patients also complain they don't, that they cannot take it's ginger. Jay. But garlic is good. It's good. So this has built some flavor. Do you like the way it is? Yeah. It's already bringing out beautiful color. 
So tomatoes, fresh yellow pepper, and tatase would go in now. All of it. This endeavor to clean as you cook is a very good way to manage your kitchen. As you can see me do. Yeah, Alima, thank you so much. You're yeah, a very fantastic guest. The pepper will go in as well. I will allow it to fry a little bit. I'm even going to cover this because I need them to soak into, uh, into each other. The, the flavor needs to soak into each other before I introduce any other ingredients here. Thankfully, let me just leave this for like, you know, two, three minutes. I just need it to build, you know, to the flavors. So now we can, our uh, fish can go in. But the palm oil is no, is no more showing on it. No, no, no. It's, oh, it's the, good enough. It's good enough. Because by the time this fish goes in and the seasoning goes in, okay. and then this crayfish goes in, everything is going come to, up. you know, yeah, come up. So it's better like that. Because I, I don't, I'm not an advocate for too much oil. <laughs> yeah, you it's know, uh -huh. actually not good for you. Uh -huh. So, yeah. That's it. The fish, has, it actually smells so good. Yeah. Smoked fish is, it's second to none. I don't know how to put it, but that's it. Okay, we have some bone here, we need to get rid of. So this been done. It's time for one of our seasonings, Maggi crayfish tablets. To cut the signature jello, we need the scissors, there's the scissors right there. Just a little bit, watch me, I won't finish it off. And don't worry about storing the rest, all you need to do is to just fold it. Keep it in between the roll mm. and it's safe. This is how to store your fashion mm. maggie. So we stir properly. So what do we do? Do we add some of the crayfish now or leave it till the end? What do Maybe we do? Maybe we should add some. We should add some. So it gives <clears throat> that flavor. You are a sucker for crayfish. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're still going to cover it. Hmm? So while our sauce is cooking and the beans is also, you know, doing its thing, let's take a quick break and we'll come back. We'll continue cooking and finish off in a bit. Don't go anywhere. Wow. Halima, please, can you help me wash the scent? Okay. Uh, oh. it smells really it smells good. So good. Yeah, so good. it does. So we'll just cut that quickly. And then every other thing will go in. The remaining part of the spring onions. But why do you have to put a strip spring onions in again when you already have onions inside? Oh, it's for more color and flavor. You know, I'm a lover of onions and any form of it is welcome in my dish. So mm. yes, for more color and flavor, I add spring onions. So now the crayfish can go in. You oh, know. Yeah, finally. Like I said, yes. Finally. <laughs> crayfish can go in. This one too can go in. So it will retain, you know, this green color. Even when we take out the heat and the food is served, it, you, you will see that it will retain this green color of this. Uh, oh my, can wow. you see the color? I'm, I'm definitely going to show my friends this. We're going this to try new this. recipe, yeah. right? Oh, please very, very show. nice. Please try this recipe for your family and friends and they will appreciate it. So here we go. I can categorically tell you that our fish sauce is ready. And our beans is cooked just for it to simmer and then we take out the heat. Now that we have finished making our fish sauce, we're going to get right on with our konun samia. Hmm. This is ready. So, so first off, my hands are clean. We are going to break this in this manner. Some people use spoon. This should be enough for us. So, you see? I get some of the water. To make the paste. Why are you like having this? Mm, I think this is enough for us. I don't want to make too much oh, so that okay. we can, yeah, we can just return this into the fridge later. So how to make this, since you've made your paste and you're sure that there are no lumps in it, the next thing you do is just to allow your water to boil. You pour it you know, all over your paste evenly and you cover for just two minutes, you know, and then you open it and then you stir and serve with your food. I think we need to go on a quick break now. 
By the time we return, we shall have our food for iftar plated. Please don't go anywhere. Join us again. Everything looks so beautiful and right. colorful. Yeah, it does. I can't even wait to eat this. Me too. We have come to the end of today's episode and our plain beans and fishes with Kunun Samia is served, as you can see, and we are ready to feast. Ramadan is a period where we all come together to celebrate one another, we share food, we share kindness, as Allah bids us to. Mm. Prepare this meal and serve your family and friends and watch them filled with so much appreciation. Please, if you don't want to miss more recipes and easy to make meals, Stick with Maggie Diaries, follow us on all our social media platforms, and learn more about easy meals to make for your family for iftar and beyond. Till next time when we meet again, inshallah, with Maggie, everyone is welcome. Goodbye. <laughs>